here is what, in my opinion, is a pretty clever uh, problem. So evaluate the y integral along c of sine of x plus y dx plus 3x plus y dy, where c is the uh, piecewise linear path from 0, 0 to 2, 2 to 2, 4 to 0, 6. So the first way that we might think about doing this is, is that we might just say, okay, we can parameterize this line segment and calculate the line integral, parameterize this line segment and calculate out the line integral, parameterize this line segment and calculate out the line integral. And, 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 and that definitely works, but there is a more clever way to do it using Green's theorem. So how we're going to do this is that, so here is going to be the thing that we care about and blue is C. And if we make one more thing here, if we tack on a C1, that's a line segment from 0, 06 to 00, zero now, what we can do is say that the integral over C of f dot dr, where f is sine x plus y, 3x plus y, plus the integral over C1 of f dot dr. So put, plugging these two together, this gives us, you know, a vector line integral around this entire loop. And so now Green's theorem is coming into play. So we have this is this. This is equal to by Green's theorem. The double integral over this trapezoid. of the partial derivative of n with respect to x minus the double, sorry, minus the partial integral of n with respect to y dx dy. And so what, what's happening here is that it turns out that evaluating one y integral and this double integral over the trapezoid is going to be easier than, it, than evaluating three separate line integrals, and then we just rearrange at the end. So if this plus this is equal to this, this minus this is equal to this. Okay, so, so let's do our calculations. We have two calculations to do. This double integral over the trapezoid plus this integral over C1. We will have to do one vector y integral here. The double integral over the trapezoid Let's see here, so partial derivative n with respect to x here, n is 3x plus y. So partial derivative of this respect to x is 3. Partial derivative of m with respect to y, to y here is going to be 0 plus 1 is 1. So we are just integrating over our trapezoid r here, 3 minus 1 dA. So we're integrating 2 dA. And so this is going to be twice the area of our trapezoid. And, and let me just point out to you just how nice our calculations are here but by doing this, we don't have to worry about any sine of x. You know, there would have been sine of x that would have got thrown in there. But that, those three vector line integrals, some of them would have been complicated because they had sine in here. This is a really, really, really easy calculation to do. By the way, what's the area of this triangle? Uh, sorry, what's the area of the, of the trapezoid? Area of a trapezoid is going to be, so what we do here is that there are two bases. 
there are two bases for the trapezoid, base one and base two here. There is the height. So high school geometry, what you do is that you add the lengths of the two bases together, you multiply that sum by the height, and you divide by two. So in this case, the area of our trapezoid is going to be base one is six, base two is two. The height is two, all of that divided by two, and so we get eight. And so our double integral over R of partial derivative of M with respect to X minus partial derivative of M with respect to Y, dA is equal to two times eight is 16. Okay, so one, uh, one integral computed, one left to do. We need to parametrize the line segment from zero six to zero zero. And so uh, the way that I'm going to do it, there are many possible parametrizations. So we note first that the x coordinate here is always zero, so that makes her life easy. And then the y coordinate has to go from six to zero. I'm going to do this by making a six minus t and letting t run from zero to six. So when t is zero, we're at zero six. When t is six, we're at zero comma six minus six, zero comma zero that checks out. Okay, so what do we do here? We are going to, okay, so this is our R of T here. Our F is, let's just recopy it, sine X plus Y, three X plus Y. Our prime of T is going to be zero comma negative one f of r of t, substitute in r of t into here, we get sine of x sine of zero plus y is six minus t, three times x plus y. So f of r of t is just going to be zero, those are zeros, six minus t comma six minus t. So the double integral, sorry, not double integral, the vector line integral over c1 of f dot dr is equal to the integral t runs from zero to six of f of r of t, six minus t comma six minus t dot product r prime of t, zero comma negative one dt. And so this is going to be six minus t times zero, zero, Minus one times six minus t is t minus six dt. So very easy integral here to do. t squared over two minus six t. Plug in t runs from zero to six. And you end up with 36 divided by two is 18. Minus six times six is 36. When we plug in zero, we just get zero. So negative 18. So hooray, what have we done? We calculate out the vector line integral over C1. We calculate the double integral of the curl component over the trapezoid. So now we just have to plop everything in here. That the integral over C of F dot dr plus the integral over C1 of F dot dr that was negative 18, is equal to the double integral of the curl component over the trapezoid, and we found that that was 16. So rearranging here, what do we end up with? 34. And so this calculation, I can assure you, is going to be easier using Green's theorem in a clever way. Even if we weren't given a closed loop region, we can make it closed loop. And it's going to make our life easier to do the double integral of the uh, curl component and one vector line integral and three vector line integrals.